So we are just going to see what's array in C++. So in this lecture video, we are just going to cover uh, introduction to an array and need of an array and types of arrays, array initialization and unsized array initialization and string as an array. So coming to the introduction, uh, that is definition for an array. So array is a collection of similar data items that are stored in the contiguous memory locations. So this contiguous memory in the sense, all the elements that are uh, coming under the array will be stored in the continuous memory locations. And then uh, along with the definition, we have to address indexing. So indexing is nothing but uh, the name that has been uh, given to each and every memory location that has been uh, named under an array. So coming to the types, we have three types of arrays. One is one dimensional array, and another is two dimensional and the third one is multi-dimensional array so let's see the uh, definition for one dimensional array so one dimensional array is an array which has only one subscript so this if you see this example so here this array that is na named as number it has only one subscript uh, so such type of arrays will be called as one dimensional array so let me put it in another way so that is an array which has uh, the memory location in a single direction will be termed as a one dimensional array. So, coming to the declaration of one dimensional array, here uh, the declaration starts with uh, data type followed by the name of the array and followed by it the subscript will be uh, declared. So, here inside the subscript, we, are, we will be um, writing the size of the array uh, or the size that has as size of the memory that will be consumed by the array so let's see this example uh, here we have declared an array named number uh, which is going to store uh, integer data types and it is going to store 10 elements under it so these instructions represents that uh, 10 elements are 10 uh, integer elements are going to be stored under the name or under the array number so this is the memory representation of a one dimensional array so here uh, this uh, blue color represents the uh, loca memory locations and uh, these are all the elements 39 56 23 so right from 39 to 67 10 elements are stored in the array so uh, coming to the indexing so indexing starts uh, uh, from 0 to 9 and the indexing will be uh, in such a way that uh, initially it will be having a name of the array followed by the subscript and the first uh, since zero represents the first location so it is represented as number of zero so the number of zero represents the first location and number of nine represents the last location so this just uh, this indexing is nothing but uh, naming to an array and then uh, along with that we have to speak about the address of the memory locations of the array so here uh, the first memory location is 2000 and the second memory location is 2002 so the difference between these two are uh, uh, two uh, two in number so how it happens because uh, this 39 is an integer so the memory starts from 2000 since the 39 occupies two bytes of uh, memory uh, so the it will take two addresses that is 2000 for the first byte and 2001 for the second byte uh 56 then starts with 2002 and it also consumes another one byte that is 2003 similarly uh, the difference will be uh, based on the data type that uh, that we have mentioned during the declaration so this is the formula to calculate the size of the uh, memory that has been uh, taken by a particular array so the formula is uh, the total size of the array uh, into uh, uh, the bytes that were has been occupied by a yeah, single uh, data in that uh, particular uh, array so here uh, we are going to calculate the uh, memory size for the array number uh, so, uh, coming uh, size coming to the size of the number array uh, the size is 10 and the elements since the elements are integers that are stored in that so each and every integer will occupy two bytes so this is the size of an element uh memory uh, size of a particular element so we, when we multiply these two we'll be getting the total size of the array so
So coming to the two dimensional arrays definition. So two dimensional array is an array which has two subscripts. So that is the elements will be stored in two different directions. So the best example for two dimensional array is a matrix. Uh, since uh, when we uh, so when we just speak about the matrix, we will be having uh, rows and columns. Uh, here uh, two dimensional array are mostly used to implement uh, matrix operations. Uh, here uh, coming to the declaration so it is similar to uh, one dimensional array but here instead of uh, one uh, uh, subscript two subscripts will be there um, so these four represents the number of rows and these three represents the number of columns so coming to the uh, memory representation of the two dimensional array here they have declared an array named a of, of, of two dimension uh, that is uh, the number of rows will be 2 and the column will be 3 and all the data types will be of character data type. So when we declare the array in uh, two dimensional format, uh, so the address will be in uh, addressing or indexing will be in such a format. So here uh, this represents that uh, 0th row and 0th column, 0th row first column and similarly for uh, all the, mem all the uh, indexings it will be taken as in such a way. So here for a two dimensional array, uh, the total bytes that has been uh, occupied by the uh, two dimensional array can be calculated using the formula that is number of rows into number of columns into the size of a particular data type. 